Well, obviously, you guys came in here with the, the plan of, you know, four points, but it's not always drawn up that way. What do you appreciate about the way this team came together so so quickly in these two games? I mean, it's big. It's the start of the season, and towards the end of the year, I mean, every team knows it. It could be a matter of two points, one point. So, I mean, these are the ones that count. So, um, obviously, one experience for us, but it's always awesome to, to go home with two wins. Take me through that moment of seeing Jack there on your side and with that puck over to you. <laughs> yeah, I don't even, I, I have no idea. Um, it's always good uh, to get that one. I think it was a uh, game winner, was it? Yeah. I believe yeah. so, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. so. Yeah. All right, yeah, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, Jack made a, a hell of a play, so uh, just tried to, to get up the ice as fast as I could. Obviously, guys like that are able to make pretty good plays, so just try to get open for them. You and I have talked about versatility being so key, especially in your game, you know, with Pally out, obviously, to bump up in that lineup, get those extra minutes. I mean, what, what did you sort of take on in, in that role there? Uh, I think I've learned in my career so far that I just got to play my game, not change much, just stay consistent. That's the biggest thing. I mean, it's it's hard to play that style of game for um, 82 games, but um, that's why a few of us are still in the league. So it's got to own it and take care of it. And obviously we wish Pally uh, the best with his family situation and um, wish he could be here, but we got the win for him, so I'm sure he's happy. And how about Seamus just scoring that first goal? <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, it's, I guess, uh, what, first goal you get a rolly now? So where was mine back in the day? No, it's, I mean, it's so cool for him. It's All of us are smiling ear to ear, so um, what an experience for, for us and him. Brendan, a big four points for you guys here. I mean, how crucial was this to to get off to this start? So many new pieces coming together, and how have you liked the way everyone has sort of come together here? Wow, well, just, uh, just a great trip overall. I mean, I feel like we've been over here for a month. It's uh, It's been a long week, and I think for being one of those new guys, just uh, to have time on the road to, to get to know your new teammates, to get to know your your coaching staff, the systems. Um, you know, we've had some some unbelievable uh, like nights here with uh, so getting some team to team team groups together, and uh, you know, some some nights just getting to know know your teammates stuff. Where usually on the road is when that stuff happens, and you start getting that chemistry and that culture. And uh, we talked about it after the preseason that we had. We we didn't get the success. We didn't get you know a, a win, but. Overall, um, I thought we played just two extremely great games um, tonight, better than the last night, and just finding different ways to, to contribute and, and, and ultimately win. I think talking to Sheldon, he said from last night and then moving into today, you know, the key was really that defensive side of the game to be more yeah. consistent throughout. You guys really managed to do that. Is that just sort of about those getting used to each other and those building blocks? Well, Buffalo's a super highly skilled team, uh, lots of speed, and They've got big goals this year, right? They they want to win. They feel they're a playoff team. They've made some changes, and we knew this was going to be uh, be a tough matchup. And uh, just looking at playoffs, when you play the same team twice in a row, um, you know it's it's tough to make adjustments. And we knew they were going to come harder than they were last game, and uh, they did. But I think defensively, like you said, Sheldon's had a big uh, a big emphasis on that, on just our neutral zone, on just how we're breaking out and, and playing as five man units. And um, you know we we just played so well tonight. I'm so proud of our group and uh, definitely something to build off of. And obviously that hit, I'm sure relieved that it wasn't a major in the end, yeah. which they originally called. Can you kind of take me through that moment, what you saw in there, and obviously the relief that hit? Yeah, I mean, obviously I hope JJ's okay, um, but I think for, for my game and when I'm on, you know, my gaps are good. Um, I'm stepping up to, to be physical, and you know, with these highly skilled, yeah. highly highly speedy teams, you, you got to play physical on them to be able to, uh, to slow them down. And, um, you know, I, I just felt I, uh, it was one of my early shifts in the game uh, to kind of get the guys going, make sure we're, uh, we're emotionally involved in the game and physically too. And um, it's it's nice when you're able to get the two points at the end of the day too. Not having Pally, sorry, not having Pally, but you get the A, you know, because he was gone. What does that mean to you? We've talked so much about your pride in being here. Uh, I'm just so proud to be a New Jersey Devil. I uh, I just everything about it has been been so much fun and just uh, just unbelievable. And anytime you're you're wearing a letter in the National Hockey League, it's an honor. And um, you know I I'm just so appreciative of the belief from from Sheldon, his staff, and from all my teammates too. You know I I'm just trying to be a piece of the puzzle here, but. Um, you know, it, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to our group. But for for Pally too, um, he's a big part of our team, and we all look up to him. And you know, not just what he does on the ice, but the teammate he is off the ice. He's uh, put together an awesome, awesome itinerary for our group this whole trip. And I know he really wanted to be out there, but he's uh, he's a big time family man, and we're uh, you know we're hoping and have him in our prayers, and super happy for him.
Brendan, I'm sorry if you answered it, but uh, to see Seamus get his first one today, what did that yeah. mean? Yeah. You know what? For for the D Union, it's it's awesome to see. Um, you know, you, how do you not just be happy for for him and uh, his journey and the opportunity that's come before him here and. Uh, he's just taking full advantage of it. He's he's a great kid first and foremost. I've gotten to know him now, you know, over the last month and um, with with injuries and just the way things have played out here in the first month of the of the training camp and season. He's uh, he's come right in and uh, you know against a tough Buffalo team who who's you know lots of speed, big physical guys, and uh, just done a great job. So um, you know, tip my cap to him. Some he'll he'll always remember. I I don't know if there's going to be many more memorable trips of a, a week in Prague, a Global Series, and the first NHL goal, but um, happy for him. For a player of his size, why do you think he's able to maneuver and do the things he can do? Well, he's just so he's just so smart, you know. He uh, you know uses his, his intelligence out there. He always seems to be in the right spot. He's got a good stick. Obviously, he's he's an offensively gifted player, and um, just the way that he sees the ice out there, the plays that he makes. Um, he's a creative player, and um, you know he's just doing his thing. Everybody knows that. Everybody that played with him, he's a great guy. Um, just just great to have him back. What time was it? Is there a relationship between you and Thomas Oppiens? Oppiens? We're similar. Um, just uh, he's maybe a little bit older than me, but uh, he's, I mean, we're joking around. He understands me, I understand him, and uh, he's just, yeah, always, always in a good mood and uh, it's fun having him around. What, what is time when you know Andre Palat will don't play because of its yeah, uh, we wanted to get the win for him. So, I mean, obviously, uh, family first. Uh, I think uh, Ali uh, should shoot us a text, and uh, we were all really happy for him. And uh, he wanted to get this win for him and his family. And, and um, I think he's, he's happy too. It was a one hour before the game, or what time? We knew in the morning. Morning? Yeah. Him having uh, the wife back home. So we, we obviously felt his energy and wanted to get, you know, that extra percent for him and, 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 and get that win for him. What about the new guys contributing? A bunch of guys hopping on the score sheet that weren't a part of this team last year. Obviously the addition they've made on the season. Yeah, it's, it's great to see um, guys fitting right in. It also shows kind of uh, how this team is. Uh, everybody fits in right away. Uh, great chemistry with the, with, the, with the group, not just on the ice, but also off the ice. So I think that's uh, something that brings us a lot of energy and I think this trip was great for that to get to know the new guys and spend a lot of time with them and it showed on the ice. So. What about your goal, obviously? How's the, how's the play kind of unfold for you? Yeah, um, yeah great great job there by, by Jack starting in the D zone, uh, making smart plays out of the zone, finding Bradder with the speed and then, uh, yeah, he, he hit the post, put it on the silver platter for me and just kind of ran the puck and the goalie over at the same time. <laughs> You mentioned uh, Palat being out. Paul Cotter slotted into his spot on that line and scored a goal, and he looked really good tonight too. What did you like that? Him? That's that's what we we're trying to do here. Um, one guy is out, next guy jumps in and, and, and fills the hole. So um, that's the depth of our team, and we wanna we wanna have that all the years. So it's important that everybody chips in, and whatever way it is, um, it takes everybody on the team to be successful. So that's uh, yeah, it was great to see him having another great game. Nico, uh, how much excited are uh, for by getting Thomas Tatar back to a team and to, to your line especially? Yeah, he's uh, he's a great player, um, so we were happy to have him back. Um, you know, I think that's where he belongs, and uh, everybody likes Thomas. He brings a lot of energy to the group, and uh, is an awesome, crafty player for us. We're gonna take questions in English first, followed by native tongue. Left side, first row. Tats, I'll start with you. Just what has this whole experience been like, um, being close to home, being in the European experience here, and, and just what with the four points as well, what has this all been like? Yeah, I mean, obviously the, the hockey results make it all just, just much better. Uh, I, I think we had a great time here in Prague. You know, Prague uh, hosts is very... Very beautiful, you know. Uh, we had a team building, you know. We we, we glued it together, and uh, you know we we wanted to focus on a game, you know, to, today, uh, yesterday, and today. And uh, I think we did, you know, to coming out from Prague with four points and and with the time what we could spend together as a team is just just so valuable. So we had a great time. Front left, Matt. Yeah, Tomas. Just um, you know, lo to lose Palat here, uh, out here in Prague, and then see Cotter 
move up in the lineup, come up with a big goal, the game-winning goal. Um, how important was it to have him step up and fill some big shoes out here in Prague? Yeah, absolutely. Pali is a huge, uh, huge part of this team. And, uh, you know, missing him, uh, it, it's, it's hurting us. But, uh, you know, everybody has to step up. And uh, also this win was for Pali, you know, not be able to be here. And uh, like you said, Paul uh, Paul moved up a lineup. But that's, that's our strength. We're a very deep team, and we can move players up and down. Right side, Corey. Uh, for either of you, <clears throat> the Hughes line generated so much offense tonight. What about those three guys kind of makes them so special when they're really clicking together? Um, I mean, you saw it tonight. I think they're all uh, great players. Um, they see the eyes really well, really fast. And if they get going, it's a hard line to handle. And, uh, yeah, you just saw it tonight. Do we have any more questions in English? Go back to Amanda for a follow-up. Nico, what was it like to see Seamus? You know, he's worked. I see the smile. He's worked really hard this camp to see him earn that goal. Both of you can answer too. Yeah, um, he looks great. Uh, he he looks really confident uh, up there, and uh, yeah, just those little moves he's doing uh, looks looks good. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think you can score a, a nicer goal as your first. So uh, mine wasn't. So mine either. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, the league's is generous right now these days. You know, good for guys. <laughs> we'll take. We'll now take questions in native tongue. Do we have any German questions for Nico? We'll take one German question on the right side. Nico, you have two unheimlich präsente Spiele aufs Eis gebracht. Was nehmt ihr aus diesen Partien jetzt mit nach Hause für die also für die beginnende Saison nach New Jersey? Um, ja, sicherlich Vertrauen. Ich glaube, uh, wir können nicht just Selbstvertrauen jetzt aufbauen. Ähm, es gibt sicher Sachen, die wir noch daran arbeiten wollen. Das ist sicher ist nie perfekt, aber ähm, der Effort war immer da. Gewesen. Das ist sicher etwas Positives. Und wir haben äh, in diesen zwei Spielen viele äh, Szenen gehabt, wie wir wollen spielen wollen. Das ist sicher äh, positiv, was wir können mitnehmen Nico, thank you for your time. You may hop off. Thank you. See you, Tuna. And we will now take uh, Slovakian questions for Tomáš. Please raise your hand if you have any on the left side, third row. Tomáš, mě by zajímalo, jestli Ondra Palád na sobě nechával během týdne znát tu situaci, že se blíží ten porod a uh, jak to s ním třeba takhle prožíváte na dálku, jestli můžete říct. Uh, určitě ano. Uh, rodina v těchto momentech je, myslím si, že prvorada. A Ondrik je skvelý otec a, a spoluhráč, takže všetci sme chápali, že chce byť s rodinou a myslím, že tým mu vyšiel ústretý. Uh, taká kapacita takých hráč, ako on veľmi chýba, takže um, určite to bola strata, ale ako som povedal, rodina je v týchto, v týchto prioritách alebo v tejto situácii prvou rada. Second row. Tomáš, ahoj. Dvakrát si bol v otváracej zostave, v podstate doma. Uh, ako si to vnímal, čo to pre teba znamená a veľký potlesk si dostal? Je to niečo úžasné naozaj uh, hrať proste takýto, takýto zápas alebo na tom, čo pracujete celý svoj život, vlastne dostať sa do tejto ligy a tá liga bola vlastne umožnená hrať tu na, uh, dá sa povedať skoro doma, uh, Česko, Slovensko, proste tí fanúšikovia a, a zažiť tú atmosféru naozaj uh, bolo bol to skoro až dojímavé pre mňa. Thank you for your time. Thank you, guys. Coach Keith will be here shortly. Seamus, not everyone gets to make their NHL debut and score their first NHL goal on a stage like this. What has these last 48 hours been like for you? Uh, yeah, it's been, well, more than 48 hours this whole week's just been a blast. Um, the guys have just been great uh, welcoming me in. And, um, you know, we've talked about it before, like, it's not your normal first uh, experience in the NHL, but uh, it's been super fun, and to get two wins has just been uh, awesome, awesome way to start. Right side, second row. By talking about this trip in general, what it meant for you as a young player, and then I'm curious uh, if your phone was blown up from uh, Michigan uh, Wolverine teammates. <laughs> yeah, um, thanks. Uh, no, yeah, I, I looked briefly, uh, gotten a lot of nice messages, which is um, really nice uh, to see people supporting you, you know, back home. Um, I love to see that. And, uh, 
No, yeah, this has been, I mean, an incredible way to start and just want to keep it going, um, you know, wherever I may be and just, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is what my goal was, you know, to try to come into camp, make the team and, and to see where it went from there and just play my game. Front left. Congrats on the goal and the win, but i um, just curious what you think of that Hughes line. Um, you know, getting your rookie, obviously, but getting to see them more regularly and then play and then perform like they did here in Prague um, and get rewarded with a goal from Timo in the third. Just uh, what's your opinion of that line right now? Yeah, uh, it's just a, a ton of fun to watch, honestly. Like, that's that's got to be one of the fastest lines in hockey. Um, the, the pace that they can make plays at is pretty pretty special. And uh, I think, you know, the last two games they've been absolutely, you know, searching for one. Um, tons of chances, and they were finally rewarded. I think they could have had a lot more than, than that. Tons of chances. Um, great, great playing. Any more for Seamus? Left side, third row. Hey, Seamus, uh, you're a pair with another <coughs> youngster, Shimon Yemets. Just what you think of the way you guys play and how well you complement each other? Uh, yeah, uh, I think with, uh, you know, how short camp was it, was, it was a quick turnaround, obviously with a new coach too, but um, we've, I've talked about this with a, a few people, the way that the coaches have communicated things with us quickly, um, but it, it made things pretty seamless. So I thought our transition through camp was awesome, um, you know, to, to kind of get used to a new style uh, and then to be able to implement it this weekend was, I think, the difference. Um, I thought we played super simple at times, but with a lot of pace as I've used before and um, you know when, when our skill came out it, we were able to bury a few but uh, just simple hockey and uh, within our structure. There are no more questions. Thank you for your time Seamus. Thank you guys. From the Devils we have head coach Sheldon Keefe. We'll start front left with Amanda. Sheldon, you talked this morning about building blocks and really shoring in on that defensive side of the game. It seemed like your players were able to keep Buffalo to the outside a lot, only allowing 18 shots. Is that what you really wanted to see from your guys in order to be further successful here? Yeah, no doubt. It was much better in that regard, just in terms of protecting our net and um, no real free sticks or bodies in around our crease and our slots. So. Yeah, that was that was much better. Got a little hairy there in the second period, just where both teams were trading chances a little bit. The, the game really opened up for a bit, uh, for a while, and that cost us a goal ultimately. But um, for the most part, it was what we were looking for. Right side, second row. Coach, uh, knowing what you know about uh, Sheamus now, what is it about his game that he's able to play so well and, and do so well and find spaces in ice for, for a player of his stature? I just think it's a combination of uh, skill, intelligence, and, and confidence. You know, it's, if you're going to play in this league at, at his size, on, on defense especially, you got to have those three things. you got to be a competitor as well. I'd add that to the list. But, but uh, he has that. He's shown that. He's gotten better each day. And as we've talked about, you know, opportunity has presented itself here, and he's taken advantage of it and came through in a big moment for us here tonight. Right side, second row. And Sheldon, it seemed like the Hughes line, any time they were on the ice, was really just driving play and generating a ton of offense. What did you like out of them tonight? Uh, exactly what you just said. You know, I thought that was sort of the missing link in our game yesterday. I didn't think that line was as good, and, and I just really couldn't quite get it going. And if they did get it going, you know, they kind of gave up just as much the other way. And, and tonight, uh, it was the, the ice was tilted the other direction. They did a, a great job of that. Uh, obviously had opportunities to score a lot more than, than they did and that we did tonight, but but uh, those guys were really good, and I thought that just really kind of completed our game and put us in position to win again, even though it was it was tight. Uh, you know, I was glad to see our guys stay with it and, and find a way. Left side, front row. Yeah, obviously not having Palat out here in Prague is always tough, but uh, the next man up mentality. Paul Cotter fills his spot, comes up with a game winner. Um, just how important was it for him to step up? Yeah, huge. You know, he's he's. We said I've said it before. I think he's got more more to offer our, our group than what he's shown in the league previously, and and he needs to he needs to earn that and show it every day. And then when opportunities such as what was presented tonight uh, are are available, you need to take advantage of it. But so obviously scores a huge goal for us. But I thought he just played a good game. You know, and I was bouncing them around and used them on different on different lines uh, to give him some extra minutes. Um, but he was great, and yeah, I do think it's it's symbolic too of uh, not, you know a player filling in the Pally spot here tonight and our team getting a win for him. 
right side third row? Coach, uh, you missed a couple of great D men in Pesci and Hughes, but other guys step up big time. I mean, yesterday Kobe had two points and a big goal. Today Dylan had a fight and obviously Casey's first initial goal. So how do you feel about the contribution from those three new guys on the blue line? And once those missing guys are back, it's probably a good problem to have, right? Yeah, no question. You know, uh, I think everybody played well, you know, on the back end here this weekend in these games. And, uh, you know, again, the newcomers are, you know, have their fingerprints all over the game here tonight. Um, as you said, Dylan, Casey, um, Cotter, as we just talked about, I thought Nason had a... Uh, uh, a great, a good game yesterday, and I thought a great game today. Um, you know, so we're getting contributions from all over, and the message is from day one with our team is is we don't ever want to be defeated by circumstance. You know, we, we, we in terms of our injuries that we're dealing with, we didn't expect or didn't hope that we would be starting the season shorthanded, but um, you know, between. Um, the defensemen who are injured and, and Palat's case, you know, here today, uh, we don't want those things to, de to, de to defeat our group mentally and, and how we work and the foundation of how you play should help you to be able to overcome those things or at least give you an opportunity to stay in the fight. And that's really what we want to be about. So, uh, you know, those are some positive things that come out of this weekend for sure. We'll take one more left side third row. Coach, could you please uh, describe the process with uh, Andre Palat and where did you find out that uh, he's not going to play tonight? Uh, we knew last, last night, by the time our game ended, um, that you know, there was a situation worth monitoring uh, back in New Jersey. So um, it was determined, um, determined last night that he was going to have to, to return home and, and be with his family. And, of course, we accommodated that, and, and uh, you know we knew by the time we had our morning meeting that, uh, that we were going to make a lineup change, and you know we were just waiting for it to play out. But that uh, seemed to be the case from the early going. Thank you for your time, Coach. Yeah, thanks. That concludes Global Series media availability.